Hi, everyone. So now we have a plan moving forward. And now I can kind of stop hoping um, that we're going to get back to be able to, to do teaching and learning the regular way. Um, so in order to best help you, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos of me talking. So it will take up a little bit more of your time. Um, I'm also going to spend time reading um, the story out loud for you to follow along with. Um, because there's just not very many good audiobooks out there for this, and I don't want you to have to buy any. Um, plus, then I can stop and I can talk to you about what just happened, or if there's certain things I want to point out. Um, so it'll take more time, but hopefully not as much time in the long run with me um, having you read it, and then having to explain it, and then you having to do all the work yourself. So um, we are on track to finish up um, the Odyssey. Um, for the week after we get back from spring break. Um, and I will have, um, this reading schedule, this new reading schedule, um, attached to Google classroom so that you can look at it and, and get ready. So kind of just an overview. We have finishing all the reading spring break. We'll take a break cause we all just kind of need to, um, process and just have a break. So spring break, and then when we get back, then we'll finish up the reading um, of that week, that four day week that we get back. Um, and then the next week we'll be studying and taking the test. And then if there's any other loose ends to tie up there. Um, and then the very last week of April, we are going to begin Romeo and Juliet. Um, and I still have to figure out exactly how I'm gonna have you guys get access to all the different video clips that we usually watch um, to kind of go through everything. So we'll, I'll be figuring that out. Um, and then we finish out the year with Romeo and Juliet, and then we'll have um, an exam over everything from this semester. So that's kind of our, our long game. Um, and so now to get back to the short game. Um, now we are done with um, Odysseus's journey. There's a couple things to point out. Um, that I wanted to go over on the note chart though. So Calypso's Island, right? So we just finished um, Cattle of the Sun Gods. Cattle of the Sun Gods. So Odysseus is by himself. His ship is destroyed. All his men are dead. Um, he's floating around in the ocean. Zeus floats him past Scylla. And then he ends up on Ogygia. Ogygia. <laughs> I can't say that one, um, the home of Calypso. So Calypso is different goddess than Circe was. So this is the second goddess um, that he's encountering. But Circe was, I mean, even though she, you know, had this thing to, about turning people into animals, into turning all his men into pigs, um, she wasn't necessarily uh, a villain or um, a negative influence. I mean, she was, but not really, because then you meet Calypso, who's a goddess, and she just becomes obsessed with Odysseus. Um, so the important thing to note on your note charts about Calypso's Island, just so you know, since we're not reading any of it. Um, so Odysseus oops, is held prisoner there for seven years. Yes, seven years, while Calypso tries to convince Odie to forget Ithaca and marry her forever. So she is tempting him. Um, she wants him. She, she is tempting him with um, marriage, eternal life, immortality, um, all of the things that she can give him um, that Penelope is not worth it. Um, but he refuses to fully reject Penelope and the idea of getting home to her. He does give in to her, um, as far as like an intimate relationship, they do have that. So again, he's unfaithful to Penelope with this goddess too. Um, but again, in his heart, he never gives consent as he says to Alcinous, um, the king, um, at the very beginning of the story, um, seven years. So three years. Um, was all of the little islands and all of the journey we read so far. That took three years, lost all his guys, and now seven years he's the prisoner of this goddess before he actually convinces her to let him go, and then he ends up um, in Phaeacia. So 
another thing we're going to talk about is um, what has been happening in Ithaca the entire time that Odysseus has been gone. So in, in the original story, we get glimpses of what's happening with Penelope and Odysseus to send Telemachus. Um, but we don't really get that in what we're reading. So we're just gonna do a, a quick a quick summary. Um, so while you're while while you were out, Odysseus, here's what's been happening. So um um, let's see, I'll say dozens, dozens of men from surrounding counties of Ithaca have come to convince Penelope to marry. So they are doing it because they want Odysseus's land, right? Odysseus was the most powerful person um, of Ithaca. Um, they want his land, they want his house, they want um, the power that he has, his army. Um, although now the army's not coming back, but they don't know that. Um, so they are trying to convince Penelope to marry them. So they have been camped out in the house on the estate, on Odysseus's estate, um, pretty much since Odysseus left. So between 15 and 20 years, they're just hanging out. Um, Penelope has been trying to convince them to leave and they are not having it and they keep pressuring her to choose one of them. But again, the Greeks were big on hospitality so she can't um, just kick them out because that would be offensive to the gods. And so they play, the, they play that religious card on her to have um, her be essentially forced. And again, women were not as high um, up in Greek society. So she doesn't really have a choice. Um, so it's all these guys, powerful guys that own a lot of land and then they have all of their servants with them. So essentially she's been overrun, right? And then if she would protest, they would, could, they would probably start killing her servants. Um, they would maybe threaten the life of her son. Um, so she's, she's doing it out of self-preservation. So that's what's been happening the whole time. Um, also with Penelope, um, I'm getting texts. So you guys can see my exchange about getting stuff from Costco right now, but apparently they're out of toilet paper and <laughs> sparkling water, which is what we wanted. Um, so this, Back to this. This is a picture of a loom. So what Penelope has done is um, she has been stalling them. Okay, so she says, um, it is my job um, as the daughter-in-law of um, Laertes, who's Odysseus's father. He's in poor health, as we heard from um, Anticlea, his, his mom. Um, so she says, this loom, I'm weaving. Okay, so this is a loom. So back in the day, like to make fabric, you had a loom and then you'd have to use the, the thing and pass it back and forth. And then you'd like slide and you'd push all of the string together. Um, and you'd go through the different layers of fabric. So anyway, so it's, this is what she's doing. And she said, I need to weave a burial cloth um, for him for when he dies. That's, that's um, to honor him. So they're like, well, okay. She's like, as soon as I finish, um, then I will choose one of you. Um, so what she does is she weaves all day. And so they can see everything. And then at night she, um, destroys it. She like undoes it all. She sneaks in there and like pulls apart all of the threads. So then she has to redo it. So she buys a lot of time. It's taking her years to do this, but then their patience is running out. So then she's kind of forced to, um, to try something else. Um, so that's kind of what's been happening. Um, Telemachus has just kind of grown up in this house without his dad, with all of these um, aggressive men around and who have been um, treating his mom poorly and just kind of um, running their supplies out and just kind of destroying everything, um, taking advantage of him. So he's had a rough 20 years of his life also. Um, so that's the state of Ithaca when Odysseus gets home. Um, so as um, we start reading, um, there's a little summary description on page 631. Um, and I'll read through that. And then I'm going to read some, um, I'll read through 
Um, through the suitors. I'll, I'll pause here and there though to, to, to make some notes, but I'm gonna do that on a separate video. That way you guys aren't overwhelmed with this all at once. Um, also, as we go through, make sure you're thinking we're gonna be adding stuff that further describes Odysseus. So now we see more of his character when he gets home. And this is kind of a, a different side of Odysseus than we've seen. Um, so it's kind of important to, to note that. And then also we're gonna kind of build some, some character traits for Penelope and kind of get a picture of why Odysseus was so determined to get back home to her, um, not give his heart away and not just kind of give up um, as far as like what, what qualities made her so special to him. So that's what we are going to be looking at when we start into this next chunk of reading. So uh, you can listen to me read on the next video.